Hi you guys. So it's been a while and um do I say that every video? Because I feel like I say that every video. But it has been a while and I am just um coming back. I washed my hair two days ago from the um the straight state that it was in and I actually just finished a co-wash. I'll just take it out so you can see what it looks like. And I just left my Trader Joe's um what is that stuff? Norse spot in there and added some what did I add some coconut oil that's pretty much it um my scalp was on like I told you guys in the last video my scalp was on fire um so I feel like I really needed to get in there and um wash it now it probably has a lot to do with the fact that I've been working out every day and you know every time you work out and for me that's the biggest thing I know some ladies can go a week or you know some cases two weeks without washing their hair that just doesn't work for me in my lifestyle because I do work out and because when I work out I'm sweating toxins are being released from my scalp and my scalp is on fire so I went ahead and washed my hair tea tree tingo um, I actually didn't deep condition with my Giovanni I used my Aussie moist matter of fact let me just get that stuff for you all right so the question I get more than any other question probably ever is what am I using and what's my regimen um, I guess the simplest way to answer that is I use what feels good in my hair um, I kind of just use and it changes it changes if I feel like trying something new I'll try something new but I am probably the drugstore queen when it comes to hair products um, you know and it, this is no offense to everybody who may spend 30 40 dollars on a product you know it's all an individual basis for me I need something where I can go to the store and pick it up if I run out I don't want to pay shipping I'm impatient so I like to find things that are on the ground that I can go to and grab um, I don't necessarily believe or think that I need to spend a lot of money um, in hair products or spend a lot of money for those hair products to have healthy hair so that has probably always been my base thing and affordable hair care I believe that you can have affordable you can do affordable hair care you can have healthy hair using drugstore products and I feel like my hair is healthy I feel like um, three and a half years completely natural and I'm loving the results and I don't have any complaints with the drugstore so you know there's some people who do I just don't have any of those so um, the first thing I'll share with you that I use is my I cannot go without this shampoo and I'm not sure if you can see it this is Trader Joe's uh, tea tree tingo I cannot go without this shampoo um, there's times for many of you who know sometimes I'm overseas and there's times I'm overseas and I run out of this and my scalp starts itching and I can't understand why it's because I don't have any more of this this stuff is amazing um, I don't know I can't say enough good things about this this always has my scalp feeling nice and fresh um, sometimes I buy the conditioner to go along with it um, it's just kind of it's not a necessity for me to buy the conditioner I just really need the shampoo more than anything so that's the first thing I use the shampoo and I may shampoo my hair once twice a week it depends on how my scalp feels if my scalp is feeling itchy I'm definitely gonna go ahead and shampoo it I'm not gonna you know there's no no natural hair rule that you need to live by or that I feel like I need to live by I kind of listen to what my hair or my scalp is telling me um, the next thing I like to use is Ozzy Moist 3 Minute Miracle this stuff is amazing and I don't know I can't say enough good things about this whenever my hair is feeling tangled you put this on and tangles come right out so I actually deep conditioned with this the other night with a plastic cap I didn't do any heat I do have a, um, a soft a soft cap bonnet hooded dryer but I didn't feel like doing all that um, what I use to deep condition with a lot of the times when I'm sitting under the dryer would be my Giovanni and this is a smoothest silk deep conditioner um, my Odie but goody and my girl hooked me up on this Adrienne you guys know her as um, Mocha Cafe LA or Cafe LA I'll put her link behind there but you guys all know her she talked about this a lot and I love this stuff you know um, I guess it depends on your hair for her hair she dilutes it with water for me I put this bad boy on there and it's it's good that's what's on my hair right now and I just love it I leave it in my hair I don't have any problems with it and this stuff is and if I didn't say the prices I believe this is $2.99 I think this is $2.99 
Depend, depending when you get this Aussie Moist ad, you can find it like at, um, I want to say Target and Walmart for like maybe three, three fifty, and it's it's not a lot, you know, for three fifty, but it's definitely worth it. Um, my Giovanni I get from TJ Maxx, and it's twelve ninety nine. It's hard to find sometimes, so you really got to be the lookout on, be on the lookout for it. I think um, Marshalls or TJ Maxx, some of those stores you can find that at. Um, and I said this is two ninety nine. The other thing I love is my coconut oil. I actually got the Trader Joe's this kind, just this time because I was just in Trader Joe's and needed coconut oil. A lot of times I find a lot of some of my oils from, um, what is that store? Marshall's. Marshall's has a great little oil section. You can find different oils. You can find grapeseed oil, although I get my grapeseed oil from Trader Joe's and I actually left that out, but that's something I actually use in my hair. And I actually use the grapeseed oil to take off my makeup, so I love that stuff. Um, Another must-have is aloe vera gel. I don't necessarily use this brand. I felt that this brand um, had my hair feeling kind of hard, like really hard. So I really like the bottle. I use it up and I just get the, the aloe vera gel from Trader Joe's and fill this little bottle up. And then, I, you know, as I'm doing styles, I can kind of just pump it and hold. And, you know, I don't have to take my hand out of both my hands out of my hair to get gel. So I like pump bottles. Pump bottles save my life. So I like those. Oh, and that gel is a, uh, I want to say $2.99, although I had a couple people tell me that they're protein sensitive to aloe vera gel, so, you know, if you're protein sensitive, be careful. Um, this product I freaking love. I'm obsessed with the smell of this product. This is Nubian Heritage, and I don't even know if you can see that. Of course, it's not going to focus. Nubian Heritage, and this stuff is Indian Hip. The smell of it is amazing. I'm actually like really running out and I can't, I got this from Walgreens. They no longer sell at the Walgreens near my house. I hear they sell it at TJ Maxx. I think I'm gonna actually have to order this offline, not TJ Maxx, uh, CVS. I'm gonna probably go to a CVS this week to find this stuff because if I can, I gotta buy it offline. This is something I really like. This actually, I got it when it was on sale. It has hair on it, I apologize. But I wanna say this stuff is maybe like $10.99. And again, I'm cheap, so $10.99 is a lot of money for a product, but I've had this a long time. And what I use this for is my twist, my two-strand twist. I like to use something that's a little thicker, so let me see what the first ingredient of this is. Where is it? Well, the first ingredient is water. But it's really, really thick. I don't know if you can tell. It's super thick, and for me, it gives me great twist, and I like the way it holds, and probably more than anything, I like the smell. The smell is amazing. Ugh. It's a growth and strength treatment mask. I use it as a leave-in. I just leave it in my hair and use it as a twist. And I use it for my twist and it's amazing. Um, and then you know what? What I realized is that Shea Moisture and Nubia and Heritage, I don't know if they're the same company, but they're made at the exact same location and the same, the same warehouse, I guess. So maybe it is the sister company, but I love this stuff. Um, Another thing I like when my hair is curly like this and um, the next day maybe it's a little dry I need some moisture. I really like the Shea Moisture's leave-ins, um, the hair milks. So this is a thickening growth milk. I like the smell of this one too. This one, I, I can't even describe these smells, but I like the smell of this one and the, um, what is it, the, the pink one. I can't think of the name of it, but these two are great for just leave-ins, like retouching and give moisture to your hair. And I, I'm somewhat, probably the most expensive thing that I have hair-wise is something I'm not so proud of because I said for the longest I wasn't going to spend a lot of money on stuff. And this was, I probably won't buy this again for another year because it is kind of expensive. But I kind of like the hold it gives my hair. So this is the Kinky Curly Curling Custard. And I want to say this bottle was $19. So this is eight ounces, and it was turned over. I mean, there, you don't you don't necessarily use a lot. Well, for my hair, I kind of need a lot to kind of tame my curls. Too much, it's too crunchy, but I, I know how to get the crunch out. And I think I got this bottle maybe three or four months ago, and I've, uh, I've been through it. But I don't wear my hair that curly, I really, out curly often I feel like if I'm gonna wear if I'm gonna use this gel I'm gonna wear my hair completely free 
and like my hair is now I don't walk outside like this just because of my own issues I don't really like the way my hair looks down curly and it's not necessarily the shape I don't know what it is I just kind of like my hair pulled back so I'm used to pulling my hair back but this is probably the most expensive thing I bought and the thing that goes with this is the leave-in the kinky curly custard not today only I I give myself an excuse for this because I know how to triple the or double the size of this bottle using the Kimmy Tube method. This is the only reason I bought this stuff because I can double the size. So for how much is this, you guys? Eleven? Is it eleven? It's eleven or twelve dollars. It might be like eleven ninety nine, twelve ninety nine. You know, use your aloe vera juice. I buy aloe vera juice. Put your favorite oils in there. You kind of mix it up. You guys can find the recipe here online. Kimmy Tube leave in and I can double this size so I actually made a whole nother bottle out of this leftover so I keep the, the extra bottle and you know use my funnel out y'all it's so many stuff it's so much stuff on YouTube about that um, Kimmy Tube leaving that y'all don't need me to go through that but that's pretty much it that's what I'm using on my hair that's what I'm liking on my hair and god that's everything I guess it kind of seems like a lot but it's not so I don't use any gel anymore. I got rid of my Eco Styler because one of my YouTube sisters, uh, I think her name's uh, Beautiful Renee on here, she talked about how the second ingredient in Eco Styler was plastic. So, you know, I went and looked my own research up and it is plastic. And the thought of putting plastic on my hair, and I noticed that when I was pulling my hair back, I was having a lot of like um, flyaways and some breakage and I couldn't figure out why I was having breakage and she was saying that she was having the same issues and she kind of said maybe it was the gel she was using and i was using that same gel all throughout my hair so eco styler for me i'm not saying y'all run out and throw out your eco styler you have to make your own decisions on what you want your hair your hair journey to be that's just for me so i went ahead and threw that out that's all out um another thing i use that i don't really talk about because i've had it for so many years that it's just normal to me is my microfiber towel so I went to, I got smart y'all, I wasn't going to spend, I would look online and they would sell microfiber towels for like 20, 30, was it like $20 or something, some, some like somewhere in that ballpark and I told y'all I'm a cheap natural, I'm not, there's other things I want to spend my money on and that's not one of them. So I went to the auto store and found a microfiber towel. So it came like this, so it's kind of like doubled, I'm sure if you can see it, it was pretty much doubled so I went ahead and cut it. So I can have a larger one. So one side's like this, the other side's like this. And I use this just to, at night, if when I get out the shower, I might just put it on my hair, wrap my hair up in it. Or, which I'm gonna do now, is just crunch some water out of my hair. Because I'm gonna have to put my hair back soon, and nobody likes that, uh, that wet, rotten smell when you put your hair up wet. I'll probably let it air dry for a little bit, but I love this towel. It's just a good way to get moisture out. I kind of need to go back and get another one. It's been a while since I got this. I want to say it's like two, three years since I've had this. Probably since I cut all my relaxer off. So it could be like three years. It's just a great towel. I love the way it feels. I love the way it kind of just really gets the moisture up, the water up. And it's soft. So that's it. That's pretty much what I use on my hair. I'll do another video where I talk about the tools I use on my hair because a lot of people have questions about that. How do I get my hair back and how I get my ends slick without using a bristle brush? And there's a very easy and simple answer to that. And I'll show you guys. Anyway, I hope this video was informative, just sharing with you what I'm using on my hair. Again, I'm not a cosmetologist. I didn't go to hair school. I'm just sharing my journey with you. I'm not saying that you have to use these things or you don't use the things that I don't use. I'm saying that you figure out what works for you. And you have to do your own research. Research what works for your hair. Um, and that's pretty much it. Hope you guys are doing well and I'll be back with another video. Bye you guys.